We're going to take a look at just uh, managing your pages, so reorganizing them and handling some of the uh, additional controls in terms of uh, how you would name or change the menu text, reassign whether um, a page belongs under one section or another section, those types of things. Um, so first of all, under content pages or content pages, once you're first logged in, and on this particular one, first thing is at the very bottom, we see some controls. Expand all sections or collapse all sections. So I'll collapse them first. Then we can see little uh, indicators off to the sides of some of the pages that are listed. Uh, if you were to click on any one of those, it would then expand um, sub-items. So pa either pages or pa sections and pages within um, that particular heading. Um, one of the nice features with CMSMS is the indexing that's already kind of built in. So if we look at one of the um, more complicated sections in this particular site, um, you know, we go from 2 to 2.1, 2.2, under 2.2, we then do 2.2.1, and so on and so forth. Um, so just so you understand how that um, works in terms of keeping track of everything. The, um, another nice feature is it also lists the template that is being used for a given page. Um, if you want to click or wanted to edit uh, one of these pages, we could just click on the link here or off to the right, we can click on the edit button. If we wanted to create a copy of an existing page, that's pretty straightforward as well. Click on the copy button and then we'll be prompted with a number of uh, uh, things that we can input to give the new page its name, that kind of thing. Uh, preview, uh, I don't use too often, um, but it's an easy enough feature. If you want to change the order of uh, where pages appear on the site, it's a very easy um, to accomplish just with this uh, in, within this move column. Click the up arrow, it's going to move that one up one position. Click the down arrow, it'll move it down a position. Um, so you just click and wait, and when it's done loading, it'll be obvious that it's changed position. Uh, default kind of indicates which is going to be your home page. So if I clicked on this X, it would then change to a uh, check mark, which would then actually make this particular page serve as kind of the home page for the site. Um, don't want to do that. This is a live site, so I don't want to mess around too much here. Um, if I wanted to deactivate a page, so not delete it, but just make it so it's not going to appear uh, to the front end or the public, Again, click on this check mark. It's going to set it to deactivate that particular page. Check mark means that it's active. We also have an indication of who created the page initially, whether it's content or a different, um, a different type of page. And we'll get into that in a sec once we take a look. To add um, new content, well, we've got both above and below the list. Add new content. So in this case, it's going to load everything up. It brings up our editor as well. Um, so the whole editing um, WYSIWYG editor that we're using on this one. I typically use FCK Editor X, um, just I like the features that are in it, how it uh, functions with the rest of the system. The other controls, content type. We have a few choices. Content is will most of the time be what is used. Uh, there's internal page links, so you could have a, something in the site navigation or the menu where it's the text that links to a, um, a page within the site, but it's not that you're actually creating a page. Uh, or you could set it to be an external link, so you could link to somebody else's website. Um, section header means that you're basically creating this as the name of a section, and you're then going to place pages within it. So we'll just go with a straight ahead for content. Title, this is what kind of gets indexed within the search engines, uh, so it's the actual name of the page itself. So um, my new page. The menu text, this would be the text that actually shows up within the navigation menu um, when it's used on the site. Um, so new 
page. So if I enter that, it's going to show new page instead of my new page in the menu. But the title of the page would be my new page. Parent. This is where we can um, assign it to belong within a section. Maybe I want it to show up under guides in this case, or under five. Or it can go under one of these other pages that already belongs to something else. So it's wonderful that the way it's set up from this drop-down menu, it gives us that index that we were looking at when we're looking at the list of pages. Um, so I can just, I don't have to remember everything. I can look at the pages, right, this is where I want it to go. It's going to go under guides. Perfect. Template. In different versions of CMSMS, uh, I think in later versions, uh, they move the template selection underneath the options tab. Um, so that's uh, just in case you're on a newer version. It might not appear right on this page. And then these are the list of templates that you have available for selection um, on this particular site. So that keeps that simple. I won't go into the editing on this particular one because this is just about page creation and renaming and organizing. So I have, in addition to the main tab, the options tab. We can also set whether or not a page is active or inactive here. We can also control whether or not it shows up in the menu or not. Um, so by leaving it checked, that means it will show up within the site navigation. If I uncheck it, um, the page will exist. You can link to it. Um, but it's not going to show up in the actual menu. Um, some examples um, where you most typically would do something like that would be a site map or legal disclaimer, things of that nature. And then we also have a spot where we can input or override um, keywords in a description. So the meta values um, specific to this page, which comes in quite handy. The page alias, this is um, really comes into play um, for friendly URLs and that type of thing. The system itself will create a page alias for a page. You don't have to specify it, but this is where you would go if you want to control it and make it something else. So in this case, it's whether it would be new page dash or new dash page or my dash new dash page. Um, it doesn't really matter what it's going to be. Uh, the rest of the features actually most of the time uh, I don't make use of um, most of uh, those are more special cases if you had extra things that you needed to add on but 90% um, of the time I find that those aren't uh, required uh, by my clients and so that would be it once I would hit submit that page would be created saved and it's ready to go so that is it for this session in terms of organizing pages using CMSMS.